Howdy folks, this is Double RPG here and welcome to the final episode of my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4 Turtles in Time live commentary playthrough of all the Ninja Turtles. Yes, as you can tell from the title, we are coming down to the last one and we are going to be taking on Raphael in this episode to see if we can make up for the bad, to the bad times that we've had with Donatello from the episode before. Well, hopefully. We'll have to see how he does. I know he's really strong, but he could be, well... I, don't, I wouldn't say he's weak. I'd say he has a lot of fast moves that can put his enemies to shame, but who knows? Okay, let's go ahead and get started with this. And yes, this will be the last episode of this play of this live commentary playthrough because I do want to get on to another game, which will be next week. And uh, let's get ready to have some fun, guys. Okay, this is the last time we're going to be seeing this cutscene. And, uh, and also, I think I've already said this before, but I do intend to... Uh, try and uh and do the mission modes for this for this game at some point but it's hard to say when i'm going to be able to get to that but we'll have to see okay let's get started big apple 3 a.m okay yeah he's pretty fast see and uh, let's go ahead and take oh man this is good this is good nice I think we, I think we'll be able to put more smackdown on everybody in this episode today, and get things done a lot faster with Raphael, so that way we can get through this game a little bit quicker than everybody else. Well, we'll have to see. Yeah, we'll have to see where everything goes from here. And he is pretty fast too. Nice. Let's see if we can get a throw in. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to. Actually, yes, we do. Haha, <laughs> Nice. Okay, let's continue to move fast. Yeah, like I said, I wish it came down to the fact that Raphael was the strongest and Michelangelo was a bit more faster, but I guess there are some things that they just got to keep, that they have to try to come up with, with some characters that may seem unlikely, or not, but, oh well, it happens. I actually kind of like it how Raphael's a bit faster than everybody else, because, you know, I, I remember playing um, the Ninja Turtles game on the PlayStation 2, the uh, the game that was based around the first season of the 2003 series, and there was a part, you know, in the game where he, it was like a training segment where he had to make Raphael uh, not get hit by uh, the Foot Clan members or whatnot, or enemies. Yeah, so, uh, so I could possibly see, you know, where I like it more, you know, with him being faster than everybody else, so... Anyway, all right, let's get on with uh, Baxter Stockman one last time. Terminate the turtles! Uh, there we go. And uh, we can move fast. Oh, did I already say that? Yes, I did. And uh, who knows? Like I said, I may even do one on the arcade version of this game, but uh, we'll have to see. But if you're going to hope for me to do one on uh, Reshelled, <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Oops. Look who's laughing now. There. Get down here. GET OVER HERE! And, uh, you get down here. One last time. Gotcha! And he's gonna fly to his death. <laughs> get it? He's a fly. <laughs> Alright. Finally, we took down Baxter Stockman. And didn't have to sacrifice that much life when fighting against him. Very nice. Okay, let's get on with Alley Cat Blues. And also, um, something I'd like to say uh, while I'm off topic is um, I know some of you probably heard about the recent rumors by uh, um, O1Net saying that uh, Satoru Iwata from Nintendo is kind of in a uh, kind of in a uh, delicate position with his job because of the failed launch of the 3DS. Well, I have to say, you know, out of everything that O1Net uh, is reporting. I have to say that this has got to be false because, you know, it's it's really hard to say, you know, at this point if, you know, what they're saying is liable information or not. And I think I remember somebody telling me that, uh, you know, O1Net or it was founded by like former members of like either Sony or Microsoft. Uh, although I'm not entirely sure about it, but yeah, I'm not really, um, I'm not really buying into the whole thing because I know that Sony was is kind of in a position to where they are giving. Uh, a lot of crap to Nintendo for, uh, you know, putting out some really good things that will put them in a backwater position. Oh, ouch. And, uh, it's just with 
with, you know, stuff like- Ouch! Ugh. I didn't think I'd have this much trouble. There. Now, first life lost, and... <laughs> oh, you did not do that. Oh, well. We can make up for it. And thank God we won't have to worry about these guys much, much later when we go to... when we get past the Technodrome, but, you know. Okay. But, yeah. If anybody thinking that Sartoru Iwata is gonna be fired as president of Nintendo, I think that would be a really bad move, as I think some of these shareholders are just being kind of prideful with their positions, and they just want more money. And I know shareholders like that for any company get like that, but, you know, in Nintendo's case, that just seems really, very weird. And with all one stories that they're, you know, reporting on Nintendo, I'm not really buying into it, to be honest. Because, you know, posting stories like that, I think it's just coward's play that they're trying to ruin somebody. That pretty much saved the gaming industry back in 1985 from totally collapsing. So, uh, being very bipolar about all this, uh, stuff with, uh, you know, with, um, you know, the shareholders, I mean, with the shareholder, I mean, I mean, with this, uh, with this gaming site, I think they're a French gaming site, O1Net, if I'm not mistaken, but with them being very bipolar with what they're, uh, what they're doing, it's just, it's really sad to see the stat, I mean, the sad state that some people have become within their careers. So, yeah. Like I said, I'm not buying into the whole uh, thing with, uh, you know, Nintendo being in hot water right now, because that that is completely false. And with, and, and one thing that really kind of got me very ticked off about, um, about O1Net is that they said that reporters were having trouble with, uh, you know, developing games on the Wii U or, or something, from what I heard from them say in one of their earlier posts, and... And I cannot even see that being likely either, because, you know, uh, from what I've heard about people who are developing for the Wii U, they said that they're really excited, and they said that the developer kits are very friendly, and and it'll be easier to, you know, port games from, you know, either the PS3 and the 360 over to the Wii U, and it's really easy for people to even work on some newer things. And uh, Ubisoft has put in a lot of good faith in the system, and even EA, and so has Capcom, Konami, you know, Square, en Square Enix, and a lot of these other places. They they said really good things about the Wii U. So um, it looks like Nintendo is taking the initiative with uh, putting in uh, some strong third party, I mean, working very nicely with third parties to make sure that they don't suffer the same problems with the Wii and the and the 3DS, well, not the 3DS, but the Wii, the GameCube and the Wii. And the N64, too. I mean, there was some third-party support, but not ones that were heavy. Because everybody was pretty much flocking to uh, the PlayStation at the time, but yeah, you can see where the, you can see where I'm coming from. But yeah, um, anything that O1Net says, uh, guys, I would just take it as a grain of salt. It's really hard to say at this point, but... Like I said, I would just, I would just be very, very wary with what they're saying because, you know, in a position, you know, with N where Nintendo is at right now, I can understand some people trying to, you know, do everything in their power to, you know, uh, try to, um, put someone, I mean, put a company in hot water, and you know how bad the media is hurting things today. It's really something that they need to be, that something that they need to mind their own business with. So, yeah, um, like I said, I'm not going to be, I'm not really in support of this uh, rumor that's going around until, you know, it's, pr un unless if it's said true otherwise, I'm still taking it as a grain of salt. But anyway, now let's get on back with what's going on here. And here is the Rat King, and it's time for us to uh, put the smack down a on him in this episode. And this time, with good old Raffy Boy. And we got him backed into a corner. And I think we'll be able to defeat him. Oh, yes, we did. Oh, nice. <laughs> we backed him into the corner. And uh, we didn't even uh, have to sacrifice a lot of life for that. So, nice. Okay, it's now time for us to head to the Technodrome. And, uh... And, uh, we'll have to see if we can make it all the way through. If we can try to get past those, uh... 
roadkill Rodney's without them, you know, killing us. And it looks like from playing as Raphael, it seems that his defense is the weakest, and I think that's true. But at least it makes up for, he makes up for it for having fast speed. So that's that's good. Oh, you're not gonna hit me with that whip. Okay, nice. Okay. Oh, oh, a Psy Master, huh? Well, I got Psy's myself. And I'm more proficient with Psy's than you are. Oh, here comes the Mausers. Oh, I did the, uh, I did the, uh, the, the spinning mid kick or whatever. That's the uh, special move that will drain Raph's life this time around. Okay, come on, ouch. Ow! You did not do that. Oh, come on! Hey! Punks? Get... Quit ganging up on me. <laughs> Jeez Louise, I hate it when enemies do that. It just shows you the coward they are. <laughs> okay. Okay. Get him. Okay. Good. Alright. Pizza power. Definitely something we need to be down most of the Foot Clan members. Oh, we got our life back, too. Nice. Okay. And, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, Finish this up, and let's take care of Toka and Razor this time. And make sure that you don't stand... <laughs> I mean, stand in their shadows when they're falling like that, or else you'll get squished. I, I don't think I mentioned that in the previous episode. <laughs> Ouch. Get over. Oh, froze me. Here. Ouch. I got a... I got fried. Get. Ow! Jerks! Quick! Getting it! Quick getting it! Ah! Quick getting in my way! You're gonna not, you're not gonna like it when I be mean to your uh your former self there, Toko old buddy old pal. Okay, watch this. Haha. <laughs> yeah, this is the abuse the, that you get. Yeah, yeah. Ha 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 Okay. It's elevator scene time again. Hey, don't you dare punch me. Die. Die, die. Okay, die! <laughs> okay. And here we go with these guys again. The uh, Kunai's and the Ninja Toe Blade. Uh, Foot Clan members. Okay, got them. And, and uh, got you. Okay. Okay, got you all. Nice. Didn't even have to worry about doing a whole lot. Okay, let's go ahead and... No jumping. No jumping. <laughs> there, This is a no jump zone, you guys. <laughs> okay. Okay, we got the uh, nunchuckle guys and the Psy wannabes. There. We threw you face first into the camera. And I know I forgot to say but in the uh in the uh one um in the one place where in Alley Cat Blues to where you can throw them, them butt first into the screen. Oh come on. There. Got you guys. Alright, it's time for us to go forward and we're going to face the Shredder. Tonight I died on turtle soup. Alright, and it's time to throw some Foot Clan members at the screen. Oops, come here. There. Very nice. Come here. Come here. Say uncle. Oh. Quick get in front of me. Oh. Bollocks. There. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's get another one. Decrease your life meter. There we go. Alright. Six more, and then... Good sailing. Ow! Damn! Dang! Oh, 
Oh, come on! Can you at least throw some? There! Thank you. Oh, you did not do that! Oh, God, I hate it when they hit me from the back. Oh, you guys are weak! Lame! Lame! There! Okay. Try another one. Oh, quit getting in such irregular positions, please! Oh! Come here! You guys quit getting in such... Ugh! Ugh! There! Gosh! I don't know how it is you guys like to get around all over the place. And I just keep hitting the wrong ones. Ugh! Come here! There! And we almost got you. Oh! Ah, uh, quit grabbing me! You suck! Okay, finally got you! Jeez Louise, man. I don't think I could have taken an, a moment too... Uh, I, I don't think I could have taken another moment with being hit that much. Anyway, his patience is wearing thin. He's banishing us to a time warp in which we will never return. Or so he says. <laughs> Sorry, Oroku Saki buddy old pal, but uh, we will make it through time, and we will beat you to a pulp once as we get back. Going through the time warp again! And yes, okay. Yes, we're going through 2.5 billion BC. Or I think that's right. Yeah, I assume it is. Okay. And, uh, there are the pterodactyls that are gonna throw those at us. And here comes the dinosaur horde. Looks like a bunch of velociraptors just coming at us. Oh, please tell me that the rock soldiers are not gonna be any worse. Oh, uh, something tells me that they are gonna be worse, but... Oh, well. We'll still defeat them. Would you guys... Ugh. Oh. You quit getting around all over the place! There, do that. And we can't even- Oh, come on! Quit jumping around all over the place! Oh, but! <laughs> Alright, screw you. We'll just keep going. But! But! Uh, slam, 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 slam. Oh, even though it... The, but! Here we go. But! Ugh. Come on. But! Oh! Dang it! You did not do that. And you're not gonna... It just did it again! First Donatello, now you? Oh my gosh! What is up with this freaking stalagma? Or stalactites? Oh my gosh! You guys are not gonna defeat me. Don't even think about it. Oh, come on. I know, butt first. There. Take that. Eat side. You're not gonna you're not gonna hit me again. Thank you. Oh, come on, guys. Here. Take that. Haha. <laughs> nice. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Man, I, I like it how you can slam in this game. You know, just slam, slam, bam. Your enemies to the ground. Okay, got you guys. Oh, but... <laughs> you know what? Since we're about out of life, I'm just gonna say screw it. Screw the foot soldier on the uh, dinosaur there. And get the pizza pie. Would you quit hitting me, please? There. That's why Raph is awesome, because he's fast. And like I said, this is also one of the turtles that I like to play 
you know, play as a whole lot because he's super quick. Uh, you're not... Sorry, football team guys, but you're not gonna stop me from getting you guys demoted in your football positions. Oh, come here. Alright. Alright. Uh, slash old buddy, old pal. You're not gonna make a fool out of me this time when I'm fighting against you. You probably will, but who knows. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, you're not gonna make a fool out of me this time. Oh, I'm getting... I'm getting him good. He He's gonna be begging for mercy from Raphael. There. Oh, nice. Oh, we're gonna get him. <laughs> oh, nice. There. <laughs> oh. Oh, my goodness. We didn't even take any hits from Slash. And Raphael is the only one who can defeat him at fast speed. Oh, Rich. Oh, my gosh. I feel so happy. The cheapest boss in the game is the one I defeated with probably the fastest and cheapest Ninja Turtle to use against, you know, fast enemies like that. Oh, God, I love you, Raphael. Okay, we're going through the time warp again, and it's time to go to 1530 AD with Skull and Crossbones. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, move forward here. And uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hit the bo or the plank boards again. So don't ask. Okay. There, slam, slam, bam, and let's get. Okay, archers. Oh, missed. Oh, I missed. I know. I, I I'm sorry. I still love that line from uh, Mario Party. I still need to buy the first one. I mean, I have the second one on my Wii's Virtual Console, but I definitely need to get the first one. And a, a lot of people really, really like that game, and I think it would make a good, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, LP uh, collaboration, maybe with K Wing or some of my uh, other online buddies if we meet at a convention someday. You know, do something kind of like the Runaway Guys. That'd be pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, I'm still watching the Runaway guys, and I still like their stuff that they're putting out. I think uh, tonight they're put, they just put out um, Mario Kart 64. I think uh, it's them, and uh, Josh Jepsen's going to be there, if I'm not mistaken. So they'd actually do four-player. That'd be nice. Besides, I was ready to see some more. They usually do a lot of stuff Nintendo-related when they do their LPs, especially if it's related to Mario. Oh! Hit my face. There, come here. You come here. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> oh. Nice! I hit all the archers right there. Archer. Oh, you did not do that. You're not gonna... Oh, come on. Stop that. Ah. Oh. Though I missed. Okay. Just stay away from the plank boards, and just continue attacking like a madman. Oh, wait a minute, you're not a man, you're a turtle. Okay, let's get the, uh, there we go. Okay, did I get you? Looks like it. Yeah, nice. We didn't even have, we didn't even need the ones giving us trouble. Oh, oh, you did not do that. You're the last one on my crap list. So, bye-bye. Okay, now it's time to take care of Tweedle A and Tweedle B. Yes, that is Bebop and Roxetti. You're walking the Blake Shield Brains. Yeah, where have I heard that before? Oh, you did not... Gosh, you jerks! I... <laughs> what the heck? His, char His freaking charge will... Oh, you did not do that! A freaking charge will take away half of your energy. What am I doing? I should focus on one of the guys. Oh, come on. You're not going to make me get... Oh, come on! Stop it! You're not going to make me get game over! Come here. You guys suck. Oh! Quit that! 
Oh, come on! You're not gonna be there. Gotcha. Jeez Louise, man. Are you? Can you guys be a little bit more? Oh, I don't know. Let's say, uh, 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 s sadistic. <laughs> there, that's the word I'm looking for. It's sadistic. Yeah, they could be a bit more sadistic. Or could they be a bit more sadistic? Let me put it that way. <laughs> okay. Now we're done done with that uh, crap fest of a uh, level. Let's go ahead and get on with uh, 1885. And it's Raphael's last chance to see if he can find Dr. Emmett Brown in this time. But something tells me that we're not going to be able to find him. Sorry, Raph, buddy, old pal, but it looks like you're not going to get your wish. Okay. Thank God we have two lives. Let's see if we can get. Let's see if we can get another life. And not have to get another continue, but something tells me otherwise. There. Nice. But! <laughs> yeah, I know, I had to say it. And this is the last area will do it! But! <laughs> oh. The uh, Ninja Cowboys. <laughs> kind of reminds me from uh, Secret of the Use when Rob uh, Donatello was... Uh, Wrapping that uh, burglar in the shopping center or whatever with that rope or whatever. And he says, Yeah! Ninja Cowboy! <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. That, that movie, uh, it's one of those movies where it's so bad. I mean, it's so bad that it's really good. It, yeah, it's one of those, uh, it's just one of those movies where it, it's, it's so bad, but you gotta love it at the same time. Yeah, did I already say that? Yeah, it looks like I did. I mean, it had some good mo it had some really good moments too. I mean, it and story-wise, it even felt like it was necessary, even though it was kind of plagued with the goofiness a little bit. But it was still pretty fun. And of course, uh, I just don't know what to expect out of the uh, the next movie. I know uh, Michael Bay's uh, production company is going to be taking the helm of uh, of. Uh, you know, creating the movie, and that kind of... Oh, ouch. And that kind of... That kind of worries me a little bit. Because I'm not really a big fan of Michael Bay, ever since he uh, put on that big travesty of the Transformers movies. What? Oh, that shit! That was a gl Oh! What the hell? Oh, come on! Oh, Jesus. I thought I had you for good. Oh, man, I cannot believe that happened. And we're back down to our last life again. Ugh. Jeez. I know, even though this guy's the one, one of my favorite characters to play as, I forgot how weak he is in the defenses! Ugh, golly. But we'll we will defeat this numb nut, regardless. There. Okay, let's see if we can just make him continue hitting his uh, knives. <laughs> He's like knives chow from uh, from uh, Scott Pilgrim with him throwing knives and all. Oh, damn it! There, gotcha. Ugh, my god. I thought I was gonna have to restart that level all over again, and I would have been like, Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Okay, it's time for us to go to Neon Knight Riders. Let's see if we can fix up, a, uh, fix up from that, fix ourselves up from that atrocity. But something tells me we're probably gonna have to restart this level with, uh, you know, losing <laughs> all our lives here, and I really don't want that to happen. Okay, Neon Knight Riders, let's go ahead and, 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 uh, and just look at the beautiful Mode 7 graphics while we probably kill ourselves. Bonus chance, it's showtime. Yeah, showtime for me to get my butt kicked. Oh well. This is the last episode, so let's make it a good one. Or, I mean, the last episode of this game, so let's make it a really good one. And, uh, yeah. I'm hitting you guys. Uh, you can't touch... Well, except for that one. You guys can't touch me. <laughs> I am invulnerable. You can't touch me. You can't even throw your bombs. La 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 la. 
Let's see if we can get all the pizza pies on the highway. Oh, make sure we don't hit those guys. On the devil's me, we're probably not going to, but who knows? We might be able to if we just be quick about it. Oh no! I missed. Oh, I missed. Just missed one pizza pie on the highway. How's that possible? Oh, come on! Oh, how can I miss that? Oh well. Oh, come on! Oh! Oh gosh, I hate you guys with a passion. Out of out of all the enemies I can't hit on this highway, why does it have to be them? Oh well. Let's just see if we can try to get through this. Uh, 36 points. Lame! Oh, please, Raphael, do not die in this battle. I beg of you. But something tells me we are gonna die. Welcome to die! As uh, Magneto from X-Men 1992 arcade game would say. Okay. Face the wrath of Super Craig! Yeah. Where have I heard that before? Come here. Oh! No! You're not gonna do that again. And, uh, yeah, you're gonna hit it. Oh, come on! Uh, oh, golly. Oh, no! Oh! I can't believe it! Oh, well. Time for us to redeem ourselves. Okay, it's, uh... Bonus chance, uh, bonus time, it, I mean, bonus chance, it's showtime, again. Well, yeah, let's see if we can actually do better this time and hit those friggin' chopper ninjas. Something tells me we're not. I wanted to get bonus points, too. I think you do that if you're in, if you're playing on, playing this game with two players. Gosh, I cannot believe that. Oh, you didn't do that. There. Gosh, I hate it when they hit hit Raphael back like that. Okay. Let's get the pizza. Neon Knight Riders. Okay, we evaded the uh, Mausers on the highway. And uh, we're going through the beautiful Mode 7 segments. Where everything's moving in Mode 7. Oh, come on, get that. Oh, missed. Oh, I missed. I know, I had to say it again. I love saying that. Okay, good. Good! Good! Oh, come on! There! Get over here! Get over here! There! Got you all! Ha! Choke on that! Okay. 28, 6, and we got 40 points! Hmm, not bad. Okay, let's see if we can redeem ourselves this time and uh, get through this place without even dying! If we can't get through this place without dying, then that's going to be a very big problem. But something tells me it's going to be otherwise. I think we will be able to do fine here. Okay, come here, Super Krang. Let's uh, put the smacketh downeth on your candy butt. I know I would quote The Rock from WWF or WWE, but, you know, I'm trying to keep this clean. There. Die! Oh! Ow! I, I, quit hitting me! It's just like the mask, or, or Ace Ventura when nature calls, you know, when he's fighting against the alligator. Quit hitting yourself! Quit hitting yourself! Quit hitting yourself! <laughs> Ugh. Oh man, I, I miss the good old days of Jim Carrey. He was really a big powerhouse in, uh, on the silver screen. Definitely one of my favorite actors back then. Uh, I mean, he's still, uh, I mean, he's still a very good actor in some movies nowadays. But back then, you know, with uh, Ace Ventura, The Mask, and Dumb and Dumber, he was quite a powerhouse with comedy. All right, we defeated Super Krang. You're going to pay. Ugh! I always seem to miss that on the mark somehow. Oh well, we defeated Neon Knight Rider stage, and now it's time to go to Starbase in AD 2100. Okay, we're going through the time warp. Second to last time on on a Starbase that's above the planet Mars. Starbase, where no turtle has gone before. 
or should it be space, where no man has gone before? Okay, let's go ahead and take care of business. Okay. And, by golly, it better be the last time we take care of business, because I don't think I can suffer any more damage. I mean, seriously. How much more of this crap will we have to go through? You know, with uh, Raphael being hit way too hard by these guys. Oh, you did not do that. There. Ah, come on. Oh, I didn't want to do that, but oh well. Stuff like this happens, so might as well make it a last resort. Oh, stupid! You jerks! Ugh. You guys are not going to defeat me. <laughs> you watch it, I'll make it. And you better watch yourself, Shredhead, because I'm going to come after you. I'm going to come after you like a turtle hurdles. Or or so my mom says. <laughs> Oop. Nice. We're throwing them to the screen. <laughs> Here, throw them at the screen. That's a good way to test their vision to see if they're blind. <laughs> uh, oh well. And you're getting my little uh, pain exam, or your uh, physical exam. How can you test a test to the pain with me slamming you on the ground? <laughs> yes. Oh, these guys again. Let me test your vision. Oh, you did not do that. Shut the front door. Oh, quit getting behind me! And sorry for my voice cracking, but I cannot stand it with these guys getting in one position where I cannot even hit them! Oh, Jesus. Ugh. I know I hate it when my voice cracks. Okay, let's get this pizza pie. Gosh darn. I hate you guys with a passion. I seriously do. I hate it when you're going around all over the place to where I can't even hit the specific ones I want to get. You keep getting in my way, but yeah, it's time for me to turn the curtains. This time. I will. I will win. Oh, there's nothing you can do about it. You're not going to stop me. Ugh, sorry for my voice cracking like that, but enough was enough. There. And, uh, yeah, do some more of your football huddles. Uh, bollocks to you. Bollocks to you. Okay. Oh, more of the anti-tank guys. Oh, you're not going to hit me. Don't even think about it. There, got you guys. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot about you. We we get we both get f there's fire, uh ice and electric hazards in this stage. The only stage that has all those hazards. If I'm not No, 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 no. The Technodrome had those hazards too the first time when we came there. You know, especially when we're fighting against Toka and Razor. Okay, and, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna have enough time to fight against you guys with fighting me with those, uh, fists of yours. The dear fisticuffs! There. The kunai knife ninjas. There. There, we're taking care of business. Th this game is the bee's knees! <laughs> you guys got hit by bombs! The bomb! Oh, come on! Come here. There. Okay, now it's time to fight against Krang again. Okay, come here, Krang, buddy old pal. It's time for us to finish you up. You shall have the down! I know, I had to say it last time. Just for, you know, just for this, you know, just for old time's sake. And, you know, since the last episode of this uh, playthrough, you know, live commentary, that is. Oh, come on. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, we're doing good. Huh. You're not gonna get me in a bubble. <laughs> bubble, bubble! You're gonna get yourself in trouble. Hey, I rhymed. Haha! <laughs> good, 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 good. Don't you be hitting any more of those robot walkers. Oh, come here. Quit circling around. 
He disappeared. Oh, come on! There. Come here! There. Nice. Very nice. Oh, he's trying to squish us. Don't... You're not gonna squish me. <laughs> I'm about to defeat you. I'm about to defeat you for all that hell you're putting me through. There. You know, if there was something strong for Raphael to have within his attacks, it should be his legs. Okay, finally we defeated Super... I mean, we defeated... Uh, we finally defeated Krang in that uh, UFO machine. Okay, that hole is our way home. Let's go! Okay, it's time for us to take care of the last level. Yay! So happy. Yeah, I know. Into the Capri Sun reference. <laughs> Alright. Technodrome. The final shell shock. Indeed, the final shell shock. Okay. Let's go ahead and take care of you finally. And it's about time too, because it's time for me to get on to something else. Okay, turtle soup, my favorite. Oh, you, oh, you're spelling it in the in the British spelling, huh? Favorite? Seems like it. Come on. We will defeat you. <laughs> oh, it seems like it. I'm. I'm putting the smack it down it on you. Oh, come on. Oh, you burned my toes. Wait, you some fire. Ah! Wait, you some fire. Dummy. There, use your eyes and attack us from above. Try to attack us from above. There, there you go. I'm finally defeating you. Ha 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 ha. Oh! What's the matter? You can't use green for once? You you have to be a man. I mean, you have to be a wuss and use fire, huh? You have to use fire. There. <laughs> Almost got you. Oh no 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 no! There there! Finally got you. <laughs> yes. Man, that was quite an experience, guys, and we finally managed to get through that game as Raphael. Uh, he was definitely a lot faster, but too bad we couldn't prevent him from uh, dying at uh, Starbase, just like Donatello. But we managed to get through him regardless, and hopefully that took a little bit uh, shorter time to get through since he was so fast. But we'll have to see. And, of course, there's the credit screen that's going to come up, and uh, April and Splinter were just right there. And, uh, pizza power time, guys. If I only knew the song of uh, Pizza Power from the Coming Out of Their Shells tour, I probably would have sang it, but, you know, since that uh, tour thing was... I mean, since that whole, uh, you know, tour was uh, kind of silly and kind of whack, I'm not going to sing it. But, but listening, you know, listening to it in the, uh, in the opening intro for the arcade version, it's definitely good for, uh, nostalgia's sake. But trying to sing it in this, you know, during this day, or, you know, when watching the concert on the VHS tape or whatever, yeah, I'm not going to do that. Umezaki. Almost sounded like Uzumaki for Naruto. Nice. Okay, and directed by Konami. And you know, th this was something that I kind of had, uh, uh, while, the, while the cast role is uh, being listed off here, this was something that I actually found to be pretty interesting, but what if, you know, Naruto or any, uh, or anything famous in the anime industry that's ninja related met up with the Ninja Turtles in the West? I mean, something like Naruto if he met with the Ninja Turtles, because I, I'll tell you right now, him and Michelangelo would actually make the would make the bestest of friends, or would make really, they would be really good friends if they, uh, met each other, <laughs> because they both wear orange, they, um, they both kind of have a really good personality about themselves, and, you know, it's just one of those things that they may actually get along very well, and they would actually be in the same age group, too, if I'm not mistaken, that'd be really cool. Oh, well, that's just me, you know, just to bring something Japanese and Western related together. 
and make it a really good crossover. Uh, but I could sit, but it's probably otherwise. But anyway. And uh, we finally got through with the good guys, and now we're on to the baddies. And then we'll get to the bosses. Okay, Pizza Monster! Oh, Roadkill Rodney's first. But then Pizza Monster next, if I'm not mistaken. Or are they Xenomorphs? Xenomorphs that can crawl around in the sewers, and they're bigger than uh, the Ninja Turtles. Oh, no, we'll still call them Pizza Monsters. Ugh, anyway. Okay, and there's those Cretans of, uh, of a Mausers that likes to grab onto us. Uh, that didn't sound right. Grab. <laughs> well, it's because they uh, like to uh, bite your hands or whatever. And there was the Robot Walkers, and then here are the Stone Warriors. But wait a minute, something I forgot to mention. Warrior is spelled with an O for Warrior. It should be W-A-R-R-I-O-R, -R -R, not W-O-R-R-I-O-R. -R -R -R. Ugh, gosh. But, you know, it happens with early games like this. You know, typos are bound to occur, but for the most part, 99.99% .99 of, uh, of this game has been accurately translated, so I can overlook that. And there's the Rat King. <laughs> and he's hitting Raphael just to get his revenge since we, he didn't even land a blow on us. <laughs> Ah, oh, the rich. Okay, and there's Cheap Man Slash. But we were cheap that time, and we managed to defeat him with Raphael by using, um, by not losing any life whatsoever when we were in that boss fight. Ah, <laughs> oh, good, 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 good. Okay, and there is Leatherhead. Yes, I'm good old Leatherhead from Louisiana. Yahoo! And there is Krang, and Super Krang, or whatever. And he's going to take the Statue of Liberty, but uh, we already got it back. And there is Shredder, right there, who's about to transform. And then here comes Super Shredder. Ugh. At least, at least we defeated him in the Manhattan Project and Turtles in Time, so, hey. Congratulations! You have completed your training, and are now true ninjas. Nice. Very good, guys. Well, congratulate yourselves, because we finally defeated uh, hard mode with all four of the turtles. Yes, I am very proud to say that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4 Turtles in Time, with all four turtles on a single playthrough for each and every one of them, is completed with the main, you know, w with the uh, main game or whatever. 24.2... 20 seconds. 24 minutes and 20 seconds. Hmm. Something tells me we, he was probably the longest to take, but, eh, who cares. Anyway, guys, we finally completed Turtles in Time, like I said. So next time, what is going to be my next live commentary? Who knows? What, but I will tell you that for Monday through Friday, like always, you will see more Tales of Symphonia LP coming from yours truly. And uh, I'll be sure to get on, I mean, get back to work with uh, Breath of Fire, so that way I can get the LP ready, uh, bef not before too long. And uh, that way I can provide you guys some more entertainment than just Tales of Symphonia for once. Anyway, gamers, take care of yourselves, and I shall see you on the next live commentary and the next LP episode of Tales of Symphonia. This is Double RPG signing off. Oh, by the way, I'm not doing live commentaries on Tales of Symphonia, but for a retro game, yeah, I'm doing live commentaries. Okay, this is Double RPG signing off. Later, gamers!